Landing pages are vital for capturing information from your audience and one of the most important stages in your sales process. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back. I hope everyone is well. Today I'm going to guide you through how to create a free landing page using MailChimp. Now MailChimp is a powerful free email marketing platform that is ideal for small businesses looking to grow their email list and get involved in email marketing and automation. Today's focus is on showing you how to create a beautiful landing page that converts so you can start building building your email list and growing your audience and community. Now before we get started and if you get value from today's video then please give us a like and leave a comment down below and if you're new here today consider subscribing to stay updated with new and actionable videos designed to help your small business thrive online. And with that covered let's start creating your landing page using MailChimp. Okay, so here we have the landing page that we're going to create today using MailChimp. Now with a landing page, you want to have a single focus call to action. As you can see, we want to capture our visitors email address and name. This is so we can build our email list for future email marketing activities. Essentially, we want to build up our community and audience. Okay, so let's get started. The first step to building your landing page is to sign up or log in to MailChimp. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head over to MailChimp.com and sign up if you don't already have an account. If you do, then just log in. What we're going to do is because this is all about building a landing page, we're going to skip through the sign up process. It's very straightforward and we'll meet you at the MailChimp dashboard. Okay, great. So here we are at our MailChimp dashboard. Now, once you've signed up, you've logged in, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see all these elements here on your dashboard. Now, up the top are some important elements. Here is where you can create an email, ads, website, your landing page, which we'll jump into in a moment, survey, social posts, uh, sign up forms, and postcard. So with MailChimp, you don't just have the option to create uh, email marketing activities, but you have other marketing automation activities that you can get involved in. But today we're just going to talk about landing page, how to create a converting landing page. Now we also have campaigns, automation, audience, brand and reports. Then we have our settings up here. But what we'll do is we'll dive into the landing page. So the first thing is we want to understand our audience. So this is your audience here. When you sign up with MailChimp for the free version, uh, you can only create one audience. So we've already got an audience created here called Stuart Tutorials. Now you can rename that if you like and you can import contacts that you might already have just down here. So we've got an audience, that's Stuart's Tutorials. Now we want to create a landing page where we can capture our audience's information, email and name and we can add them to this audience so that we can retarget and kind of build our audience and our relationship with our audience later on down the track. So let's create our landing page. What you want to do is head over to create and then head down to landing page and click landing page. Now here you want to name your landing page. Okay, so I've named my landing page digital marketing for beginners. Then we want to pop down here and click on your audience. Now, remember, like I said before, you can only create one audience. So we've got Stuart's tutorials. So again, that's going to automatically show up there and then we'll click begin. Then we just want to accept terms and conditions so we can use these templates if we like. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of templates that we can choose from to create a landing page. So again, if you don't want to create one from scratch, you can come down here and you can select one of these free landing page templates to start building from. So we're going to start off with something simple and start creating from a basic uh, template. So we're going to click grow your list because that's essentially what we want to do. We want to grow your email list with this landing page. So click here to view the landing page. And as you can see, this has taken us to the basic landing page template, which we can now customize and change the way that we like. Now, the great thing about this is it's a really simple landing page builder, which we can simply drag and drop to add to our landing page. Again, we can also just come over to the left hand side and we can drag each of these blocks to the position that we like on our landing page. And you can also edit each of these blocks by simply clicking edit block on this icon here. 
and that will bring up the information on the right hand side where we can edit and change the content. So again, it's very simple to create and change the content on this landing page. It's a really easy landing page builder. So remember the reason we want to create this landing page so we can start building our email list, building our audience, so we can start uh, with email marketing activities later on down the track. So let's start building your landing page. So the first thing we want to do is change the background image because as you can see it's just this dull grey colour. So you can come up here and you can change the colour here if you have a specific colour uh, that maybe represents your brand, your business, you can choose that colour here or you can add an image. So what I'll do is add an image here and as you can see, we don't have any images or files on this account. So what I'll do is pop up here and click upload. And then I'm going to select background and click open. Now what you can actually do is head over to canva.com and you can download images. You can create your own business content for free using Canva. Now the image we've just downloaded, as you can see here, we actually just downloaded from canva.com. It's a free image that we've downloaded and we're going to use for the background of this landing page and you can do the same. So head over to canva.com if you don't have any business materials or any content, any images and download the images that you like using canva.com. All right, so I'm happy with that image there, that background image and I'm going to click select. And that will take some time to upload but as you can see we have the image background here so I like the look of that now what we want to do is add a logo here so what we want to do is click this edit block icon and come over here and click replace and I'm going to come over here and click upload and then I'm going to select this logo here and click open Again, that's going to take some time to upload and then I want to select the logo and click insert and that's going to insert my logo here. Now you can also come across and change the size. So I like the look of that size there. Then when you're happy with that, come down here and click save and close. So we've got our logo here. Now we want to edit our headline. So this is going to be compelling. This is going to be enticing. We want to invite people to essentially look at our landing page and enter their email information and name so that we can capture their information and build our email list. So I'm going to edit this uh, heading here and then I'm going to delete this and then paste my content here. So as you can see, I've already created my own content and it's on a document. So I'm just copying and pasting to make this process, this tutorial a lot faster. So make sure you have your content in place already. So again, I've got helping your small business thrive online. And as you can see, I have uh, made it italic. I've also put a underline under this particular word, thrive, and I'm happy with that, although it's quite large. So I'm going to highlight the text and come across here and change the size to about uh, not 24. It's a bit too small. We'll go, we'll go 26 and I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click save and close. Then we want to come down and change the body text. So I'm going to click edit. I'm going to delete the dummy text here and then paste my already existing content. So here we have our content. Again, we want to make it as compelling and inviting as possible. And you want to share the value. You want to explain exactly what you're giving in return for their email address. So I'm going to highlight this text and I'm going to click center aligned. I like the look of that. Again, some of it I have already highlighted here. This whole section here has been highlighted. Some of it has some of the words uh, underlined. Again, that looks quite good. I could change the size, but I'm happy with that text. And then I'm going to click save and close. However, I don't like how it's all just plain white. So what I actually want to do is change the background color of this section here. Now I can't actually do it with this block itself. I need to come across and I need to click on this box text and drag that across here and put that just above the original text box. Now what I need to do is transfer this information up here. So I'm just going to click here to edit. I'm going to highlight all this information. Control C. I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to come over here and delete this block. Yes. Then I'm going to click edit and highlight this information and Control V and paste that information that I just deleted into this text box here and then click save and close. 
And as you can see, this is a boxed text, so it looks a bit more attractive than just the plain white background, so I'm happy with that. Click Save and Close. So again, we've got the logo, we've got our header here, then we've got our body text, and then down here we've got our email information. So this is where people put in their email address. I want to add their name as well, so I'm going to click Edit this box, and then we've got the email address, so the available fields, we've got email address, you can click all of these if you like. So we've got the email address and first name. Um, again, you can add last name, address, phone number, birthday if you like, but you want to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible. You can come down here and change the subscribe button. I'm happy with that. Subscribe, yep, we'll go subscribe, we'll leave it as it is. Um, and then after they have submitted, we can have confirmation message. Yep, we'll keep that. And then you can change that confirmation message down here. Success, you've been added to the audience. Um, I'm going to change it to, you've been added to our small business community. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then click save and close. Now, that looks quite good so far, but we want to have a footer and we want to add some more information down here. So what we'll do is come over here and add a divider. So I'm going to drag this and put that under here. I'm happy with all this information here. Again, you can edit the style, the sizing, the padding here. Um, I'm going to leave that as it is. So I'm going to click Save and Close. And then I'm going to come up here and add an image. So I'm going to drag this image below the divider. And then I'm going to come across here and upload an image. So I'm going to come over here. I don't want any of these images. I've already got my logo. So I'm going to click Upload. And then I'm going to add this image of myself and click Open. I'm going to select the image of myself and click insert. Add an image, or it's up to you what you want to add here, but we're going to add an image of myself. And then again, I'm going to resize that image. I'm going to keep it, let's say, that size looks quite good. And I'm happy with that. Then what I want to do is click save and close. I'm going to come back over to box text and drag that under here. Then what I want to do is get rid of this and add my title here. So Stuart Gold, Digital Strategist, Project and Content Director at Syndio Media. So that just kind of, like I said before, gives authority and credibility. So that's me. Uh, this is our company, my company. Um, and this is the information about this landing page and what we're going to kind of offer in return for their email address and name. So that looks quite good so far. Another thing we want to do, one of the last things, is add social media um, buttons so people can head to our website or they can head to our other social media channels. So I'm going to click save and close and then what I'm going to do is come over here and click on social follow and drag that and pop that below this blocked text. And as you can see we have the social media elements here. Now what I want to do is change this so we've got Facebook here. Again all you want to do is copy your URL to your Facebook page if you have a business Facebook page and paste that in here. So for example, ours is Cindio Media. Um, again, you can just head over to the Facebook page and copy and paste the URL here. Again, we don't use Twitter, so we're going to change that to LinkedIn. Then again, you can add your LinkedIn URL here. It could be your personal profile or it could be your business page, your company page if you have one. And then your website so ours is www cindio.co.nz so we're happy with that then you can add another you can add up to 10 we're going to remove this and we're going to find youtube there it is and then what we would do is would actually add our youtube url here so just copy your url like i said before and add that up here and then i'm going to and i'm happy with that so i'm going to click save and as you can see, that is our landing page. Now, I'm actually really happy with that. I'm going to leave it as it is. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's colorful, it's, it's professional, um, and it has all the information I want to convert uh, my visitors, my audience, into essentially um, adding them to my email list. Now, again, you can come over here and there's other options. And then what we want to do is come down here. When you're happy with your landing page, click Save and Continue. And then over here, you want to add your page title name. So we're going to say small business community. So I'm happy with that and click save. And then down here you can add the URL. So you can create your own URL here or you can connect a domain. So I'm just going to type in the business name. 
which is Cindio Media, so I'm happy with that, and click Save. And then down here, we've got Audiences and Tags, so Contacts will be added to Stuart's Stuart Tutorials, which I'm happy with. Remember, if you want to create more audiences, then you need to upgrade. Uh, for now, we'll just leave it as Stuart Tutorials, and then the contents you can preview by clicking Preview. And we can see this on desktop, so that looks very attractive. I like the look of that. Then we can click mobile, and that will show you it on mobile. If you're happy with that, then see what I'd probably do is make this text a bit smaller because it's it doesn't look very responsive on mobile. But for now, because it's just a tutorial, we'll leave that as it is, and we'll click exit out of preview mode. And then we'll come up here and we'll click publish. And congratulations, your landing page is now live on the web. And here it is here. So what you want to do is copy this here and then share it on Facebook, on Twitter. You can share it on blog posts, on your YouTube channel, under your videos. You can send it via email to individuals. You can send paid traffic or organic traffic and then people can sign up through this landing page. So that's fantastic. Then once you've got that up and running, what you can do is head over to your audience here. When someone pops in their email address and name and they sign up through your landing page, that email address is going to show up here. And then what you can do when you've built up a bit of an audience, you can come over to campaigns. You can see your landing page that's active here. You can create another landing page if you like. And then you can come over here and click create and then click email. And here you can create an email. So for example, keep your subscribers engaged by sharing your latest news, promoting a line of products or announcing an event. So you can create emails and start targeting those individuals that have signed up through your landing page. This is all part of email marketing. But what we wanted to talk about today is just creating your landing page and we've created it just here. And that is how you build your email list with a landing page. And there we have it. That is how you can simply create a free landing page using MailChimp. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this MailChimp tutorial helpful. If you did, please give us a like and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and we will see you in next week's video. Take care.